and uh, for years and years he was a terror in a town where they had some terrors. He played in Cincinnati. Cincinnati is the home of Spade, oh. Clem, Gary Spade, Joey Spade. I mean, they had some creatures there. And uh, I guess Donnie was the biggest creature of all at that time. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a tremendous amount of enjoyment and pleasure. I want to welcome into the Bank Pool Hall of Fame my friend and adversary throughout the years, Donnie Anderson. Is this on? Uh, when it comes to bank pool, nobody knows this guy any well than I do. Don't come over here, we're going to see you. <laughs> uh, the, re the reason I know him so well is, you know, he's pounded on my ass all my life. I've never beat the guy in my life. Every time we would play, he would beat me. I would hate him and hate him. And so, you know, I guess he beat me so much I begin to like him. You know, just take it. Uh, for instance, about the third or fourth Derby City tournament here, you know, I drawed him back to back in the tournament. And of course, the same results. He beat me twice. And I think uh, Greg Sullivan had something to do with it. I think he was in with him. You know. <laughs> So then after that, a couple years after that, he asked me, he said, Truman, how old am I going to have to get before you can beat me? And hell, he must have been 70 then when he asked me that, you know. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I would just like to welcome, you know, one of the great bank players of all time. And believe me, if it was left up to me, he would have been the first one voted in. One of the great bank players of all time from Cincinnati, Ohio, the Cincinnati kid, Mr. Donnie Anderson. Well, <clears throat> I guess you're wondering why I called you all together. <laughs> They used to say they say the best for last. It's the oldest for last tonight, that's for damn sure. But Truman was really right. Everything he said, I beat on this sucker for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a lot of people don't know here is that Truman was a jockey. <laughs> Never won a race doing that either. Everybody's got little stories, so I got a little one too. Do you all, is Mary Lou left here by any chance? Good. <laughs> uh, I ran to Eddie Taylor in Springfield, Ohio, and he was telling me about a spot in uh, Knoxville where there's Mary's Bill left here, and he plays for big money. So Eddie had the money, I was busted. And we went down there. And I was dressed pretty good this time. And I went down there and I said, Do uh, you remember me? He said, Nah, I don't remember you. I said, Well, I come to play, I come to bed high. He said, What do you want to play for? I said, We'll play for a thousand a game. He said, Make it two thousand. I just hooked at him and I said, Make it a thousand. <laughs> So, uh, we were playing eight ball bank, and he was the first game, and I died. Well, I beat him five in a row, and he quit. Now, most of the time, this guy is used to losing 20, 30,000. He had a lot of money. So, I went up to pay the time. We paid six games of full rack bank pool, and the time at that time was a penny a minute. And the time is 22 cents. <laughs> and I paid my half. <laughs> it's a 
real pleasure to see all you people here tonight. A lot of my friends, people who voted for me, people who didn't vote for me, I still love you. Truman, God love you, been a buddy of mine. I don't know how many damn years, but you sure, I don't know, I really missed you because I got that extra money now. And Freddie, God love you, I kind of miss you a little bit too. That's really all I got to say. I'm so damn tired, I think I'm going to faint. I want to thank Greg Sullivan. I think he did more for cool in the last 10 years. And once we can all of them put together. <laughs> Besides that, he gave me a ticket for a free dinner. <laughs> Okay, I hope to see you all again here next year. And I hope we'll just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I really hope, from my heart, that Truman gets back into Georgia. <laughs>